Tracy. 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 Months, Mrs. Carmody takes us on a school trip. She says it broadens our minds. This time we went to her brother Bob's farm. We looked at the animals, and the animals looked at us. About the time I was thinking I should have stayed in bed, that's when I saw him. No, not Bob's son George. No, not Bob's prize cow either. From the moment our eyes met, I knew he was the one. I fell head over heels. It was love at first sight. He was so proud and handsome. His name must be Prince, or Wildfire, or Jet, or Hero. Boys and girls, say hello to Tinkles. Tinkles? OK, so his name was Tinkles. Nobody's perfect, except him. And I knew then I'd love him forever. From that moment, I wanted a horse more than anything in the world. I needed a horse. I will have a horse. Sure, you can have a horse. I can. If you can find somewhere to keep it. Your bedroom, maybe. Dad. Or how about the caravan? I know what you're trying to do. Or maybe we have a spare wardrobe it can squeeze into. Or how about under the stairs? This is not exactly helpful, Dad. I'm going to talk to Mum. You want a horse? I don't see any problem. You don't? Oh, thanks, Mum. I knew I could count on you. As long as you pay for its food and vet bills, and then there's the saddles and blankets. The saddles and what? And you'll need money for riding lessons and riding clothes and new shoes for the horse, and then... You'll... OK, Mum, I get the picture. What is it with parents and this sensible thing? You have the best plan ever. Then, reality comes along and mucks it all up. So much for my horse. Unless I find one I can keep in the garage, eats nothing and doesn't have to go to the vet. A maintenance-free horse hasn't been invented. Until now. It was so obvious. If you really want a horse, you just have to make one. Simple. This will be the world's first lawnmower-powered horse, Jameis. Won't your dad miss the mower? I've got the bases covered. You'll see. What will you call it? Well, I fell in love in a flash. This idea came to me with a flash. And when I make my horse, it'll run like a flash. Guess his name. Um, uh, now nah, give up. Flash. <laughs> Good name. OK, Seamus, let's ride. Hee-haw. Hold on, Flash. Check it out, Seamus. Flash is walking the walk. Yeah, but can he trot the trot? Let's see. Engaging second gear. Trot! Whoa, let's see him shift in the canter. Tracy! Mum says you have to... It's a horse. It's so beautiful. Please, Tracy. Megan, Flash is a highly sensitive and very delicate creature. He has to be broken in first. When then? He'll let me know when he's ready. How? We horsey people can just sense it, that's all. It's part of the bond between girl and mechanical beast. OK, Flash, trot on. Mum, Dad, check it out. Oh, we knew you'd come up with something. But this is amazing, Tracy. And that's not all. Putting it into mo gear. Wow! An inbuilt labour saving device. Now the only thing to do was find a stable for him. And I had the perfect place. Back a little more. More. That's it. Whoa! I invented the perfect suburban horse. Any backyard could fit Flash, and parking was a breeze. Flash is brilliant. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Sorry. But I didn't tell you to stop. It's incredible, amazing, stupendous. Now you can stop. If I can't ride him, can I just sit on him? Please, please. Ah, uh, later, Megan. First I've got to anti-rust his tail. Oh, OK. Oh, Flash, you're so beautiful. Little sisters, you can't live with them? You can't live with them. You said it. Uncle Arthur! You've got to come see Flash. 
Flash sounds a beauty, Shrimp, but I'll have to see him later. We've got a big bowling tournament to go to. We are Team McBean! It's the local league championship. We're up against Team McConnelly, and by George, we aim to win! To, to win. win! Good luck, family. But if you're all going, who's going to look after us? Hello, kids. Care for a rock cake? Aunt Maud! Rock cake? <sighs> Aunt Maud and her rock cakes. Just what I needed. Not. Aunt Maud's OK, but she's a bit like a drill. Boring, boring. She never understands my inventions. Or she thinks they're dangerous. She won't like Flash. There you are, Gordon. Just in time. Even Gordon, who eats every food group known to man, and a few unknown ones too, hates Aunt Maud's rock cakes. I'll teach you my special recipe. Then you can eat as many as you like. Eight? Many? Oh! It was also unfair. I should be out riding Flash. This day's getting uglier by the minute. Good boy. You're a beautiful boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What did Tracy do? Ah! Oh, whoa! Promise you won't tell anyone, but here's the secret ingredient. I bet they're made with real rocks. My secret ingredient is... But we never did find out why they taste so bad, because right about then... Oh! Snakes alive! Oh! <laughs> What's that noise? Noise? What noise? <coughs> That's Megan! Megan? Uh, who's Megan? Uh, do we know a Megan? No Megan here. Whoa. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Aunt Maud's going to hate Flash. I just know it. Whoa. See? I knew it. She hates him. He's... But you don't understand, Aunt Maud. He's beautiful. Huh? Oh, what did you say? Whoa. He's beautiful. What's his name? Flash, where did you get him? I made him. Oh, Flash. How clever of you, Tracy. Really? But Megan has no idea how to ride Flash. Megan, pull the handbrake. Which one? This one? <coughs> no, not that one. <coughs> They're heading for the park. Come on, Aunt Maud. Stop! Please stop, Flash. Stop! Three years running, you know. You were? I was. Hold on. <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here. It's no good. The current's too strong. Try swimming back at an angle. Come on, Flash. You can do it. Exactly. But we did win the prize for the best dressed team. 
It's a very prestigious award. So, what's been happening here? Rock Cake City, unless I miss my guess. No, actually. Flash went wild and ran away with Megan, then threw her into a raging river, and Aunt Maud and I had to ride out and rescue her before she got swept down the rapids. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke, Tracy. Maud had to rescue her. <laughs> Come on, Maud, let's hit the road. I got a trophy to polish. Maud rode out to get her. <laughs> what an imagination. That girl's a chip off the old McBean block. I guess you just had to be there. <laughs>